Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Let me introduce myself My name is Muhammad Saruri Zaman Abasar With the number of student 067 And in here I will presentation about uh, the, tit the title Leader Based Autonomous Wheelchair And the overview There is the one of abstract introduction Methodology Result and conclusion And uh, uh, from the abstract, electric wheelchair restore mobility and independence to those with injuries, limiting their movement. However, individuals suffering from arthritis or motor neuron degenerative disease, it's a uh, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, like the fine motor control to flow fluently control electric wheelchair. This individual are left dependent on other uh, drastically reducing their independence and quality of life the wheelchair uses the robot operating system or ROS microcontrol rotary and codes and a leader you need to navigate the leader unit provide a vital measurement of the environment which are which are used to con construct a map of a uh, map of the surrounding ROS receives input data from the leader sensor analog sensor analog with the rotary encoder to determine a navigate uh, navigate navigable path to a user defined destination the navigation system is designed to adapt to change in the environment and route the wheelchair if new obstacle emerges and the introduction since they're advanced in early 6900 uh, electric wheelchair have helped individual re uh, regain their loss mobility from injuries traditional and electric wheelchair is controlled by a joystick mount on uh, arms of the chair however individual suffering from neurodegenerative disease such a uh, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis Individual with ALS let uh, the fine motor control to use a traditional joystick controlled wheelchair, leaving them immobile for long periods time of heavily depend on other for mobility. And the state of uh, of state of the art and uh, the first from G S Nguyen the. Uh, proposed the two control intelligent machine uh, or team. Team uses a unique camera configuration for vision, which includes stereoscopic camera for 3D dimensional depth perception mapping and a special camera for system for 360 degrees of monocular vision. And from we Kiat uh, proposed a steady state visual. Evoked potential based uh, BCI wheelchair to navigate. The wheelchair focused on transferring control between the user and navigation system. In an effort to, effort to uh, reduce the number of decisions made by the system. And from iterate it iterate, uh, proposed on uh, non-invasive brain actuated wheelchair that release on a P360 uh, 300. I mean, <laughs> neurophysical protocol and automated navigation, the wheelchair uh, present a virtual contraction of the environment, allowing the user to select a location using EEG. The autonomous navigation system receives the location and the uh, navigation while avoiding obstacle. <coughs> and now the rich, research uh, purpose. In this paper, autonomous wheelchair with a lidar sensor from individuals with limited mobility is presented. A wheelchair is con in consider in considered autonomous when it can navigate to be to a given location in an unstructured environment without continuous human guidance. The proposed wheelchair is capable of navigating navigating itself to a desired location while uh, detecting and avoid obstacle in real time and the methodology for the leader 
uh, unit is primarily used to create two to uh, 2d map of the current surrounding as well as dynamically uh, detect obstacle in route to destination it is only capable of scanning on a horizontal plane at a uh, hack above the user sitting on the chair therefore obstacle below the hack of the leader uh, the leader unit are unaccounted and not represent, uh, represented on the map and uh, this is a mechanical system of robot operating system the robot operating system is an open source platform that uh, run on top a Linux environment and provide a flexible framework from writing robot software the robot operating system or ROS uh, running on a laptop receive the laser scan data through, uh, through a USB connection same in uh, in this figure Rus then can create a map using the laser scan data implemented through a SLAM algorithm and this is uh, the result the wheelchair was manually using the joystick navigate slowly through, uh, through the hallways hallways from the starting point to to the destination through visual inspection it was to determine to to uh, determine the resulting map where sus, uh, sufficiently sufficiently accurate for the trial the case one map is uh, is the construction to the to test the navigation system in cooperation with the map design whereas the case two map is formed to test the responsiveness of the navigation system in an environment with, dyna with dynamic and static obstacle. And from result, uh, test run were con conducted in an environment to find the parameter of the navigation system and obstacle mapper solution. In case one, uh, ten trials were conducted to test navigate to test the navigation for comparison to see in the left picture. Results from this trial are shown in the table one. In case two, five trials were conducted to test the responsive of two uh, of the navigation system in an environment with dynamic and static obstacle. See in the right picture. And our discussion case one the large variation were in the time metric and metric uh, as there was a range of 20 seconds between the best and worst time comparing to the result and uh, seen in the table right this trial had 100% uh, tax uh, tax success and 0% constellation and the average time for the trial reposted was uh, 659 seconds the standard uh, deviation was lower as well from 130 and uh, 130 seconds in case 2 to test the responsive of the navigation to obstacle to static obstacle were set up in the hallway at opposite wall uh, 188 meter apart a person walking into the expert part of the wheelchair after it had cleared uh, the second static obstacle served as a dynamic dynamic obstacle for the trial the wheelchair successfully navigated around the dynamic obstacle in four of the five trial and in conclusion the automated wheelchair capable of navigation to a user defined destination was presented 10 trial were conducted for case one with promising result there were going to color, no collision and failure enrich the user defined defined destination in addition in addition to safe navigation the wheelchair navigation significantly faster uh, faster with path and time optimal ratio of 103 all while Avoiding obstacle in real time, five trial look on it for case two. Uh, there were no con there no uh, there were no collision and one failure in navigating to destination. The result so that the wheelchair is capable of detecting and avoid both static and dynamic obstacle in real time. And from
uh, reference from our, our journal from EAA EII sensor application symposium and added to EII explorer and electronic and the doi from entrance journal and thank you uh, this our presentation sorry about if the there is a wrong or false my my word in this presentation thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh